welcome to my talk for Dynamite Angelo or AW Dynamite Review. Or sometimes I'm confused what I'm talking about, guys. Uh, am I the only one? Insert funny effects here or something because it's pathetic. This time the review is not gonna be in chronological order because a new tournament kicked off and I kind of want to talk about the, the the rules and who is in it and all of that stuff. And uh, yeah, this time it's gonna be a little bit different. So a Continental Classic tournament starts started yesterday or on Tuesday and there are like two big groups in that tournament the blue group and the gold group and basically the winner of those both groups is gonna face each other to become triple crown champion because Eddie Kingston put both of his titles on the line plus the new title of the continental champion which doesn't make any sense to me because you already have uh, international champion in Norwich Cassidy. Why do, do you need second mid-card title while every title except the AEW championship is a mid-card title? So basically in the gold group we have Jay Leto, Jay White, John Moxley, Mark Briscoe, Rouge, Swerve Strickland and in the blue group we have Andrade Lidolo, Brian Danielson, Brody King, Claudio Castagnoli, Daniel Garcia and Eddie Kingston and in theory everyone will face everyone and uh, whenever uh, someone wins a match they get three points whenever someone loses a match zero points and when there is a draw there is a zero point the first matches we had tonight was worst Strickland versus Jay Lidl which was strange I don't know strange is the best word I can give because given the fact that Swerve Strickland had a brutal match a couple days ago against Hangman Adam Page, now he had that match going on where he won, of course, and now he has three points against Jay Leto and all of that good stuff, and I cannot say anything else for now. The other match is Rouge versus Jay White, and of course Jay White won, given the fact that he lost the AEW Championship title match, and um, yeah, now at least he maybe is gonna win that whole thing because I think he's kind of the biggest star in that tournament. I'm excluding Brian Danielson because Brian Danielson is not hunting for titles or anything, at least I think. The last match in this tournament for tonight was John Moxley versus Mark Briscoe. And uh, of course, John Moxley was bleeding again, and it was a brutal match. And I'm not really familiar with the Briscoes, and, but I know that they're brutal contenders, uh, competitors, or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, in the end, John Moxley won his three points, and that's concluding everything in the Golden Group for the tournament for tonight. The next time we're gonna see people competing in a tournament is gonna be on Rampage and Collision. So, with that being said, we are moving on to the next thing that was happening on the show. MJF and Adam Cole promo. It was amazing, it was awesome, both of them are limping. Adam Cole because of surgery, MJF because he's playing the surgery. I didn't give MJF enough credit because he made the whole full gear. He was opening the show, he was closing the show, he played that injury very well. I'm sure that he's not injured, but he's playing it, he's selling it very well, and I can't wait to see what's in front of that man. He is a genius, he gets it, he knows what he's doing. I don't know how much creative control he has, but I hope he is behind every single thing he is doing. The thing with the ambulance, it was amazing. Amazing, thank you MJF. But the promo was good and MJF was like, I'm gonna find the person who is behind that mask, yada, yada, yada. But Samoa Joe came out and he was like, Max, we had a deal. I'm gonna become your partner for full gear for the ROH tag team titles and you're gonna give me a championship opportunity. And Max was like, blow me. But Samoa Joe was about to attack Max and Adam Cole was like, Samoa Joe, please, please, uh, please don't attack me, uh, him, and uh, yeah, he didn't attack him, Adam Cole talked with him, and basically MJF agreed to that, and Samoa Joe was like, I'm gonna protect you, Max, 
don't worry about it because I want you at 100% whenever I have that match against you. So don't worry about the devil, you're my possession now. And basically, amazing promo, chef's kiss, and there's nothing else I can say here. Trios match that I don't know how happened even. Uh, like, it was super, super, super random. Orange Cassidy, Hook, Kitsori, Shibata versus Daddy Magic, Who Hands, Angel Parker, and Jake Hager. I don't know how that group of Daddy Magic is just lingering around, doing absolutely nothing. And also, I don't know why we're putting the international champion in these random scenarios. Just putting that out there, just putting that out there, Orange Cassidy and company won, of course. I love the love angle between Andrew Parker and Ruby Soho, by the way. I really enjoy it, I really like it. It's a really enjoyable angle. I'm usually not a fan of love stories, but I'm really curious what's happening there. But I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later. Next segment, Christian Cage, Rick Creason, Nick Wayne and Luchasaurus. So, Christian Cage came out with his group of goons and he was like I was not it was not my fault that I lost at full gear it was not Nick Wayne's fault so it's Luchasaurus fault so Luchasaurus get on your knees and I'm gonna change your name to kill switch basically and he already did that and I was wondering if Luchasaurus is gonna turn on Christian Cage because it's time man the man is huge the man can do everything on its own I have I have a little bit of a doubt that he probably cannot cut a promo, but I hope this is not the case. But anyway, the kill switch didn't say anything. Uh, Nick Wayne was uh, with a new name as well, but I don't remember his name because at the moment Christian Cage gave the new name, Nick Wayne's mother came out and uh, some family shit happened and Kill Switch was like, no, you're gonna not gonna do anything to the mother of Nick Wayne. Nick Wayne was staying and he was enjoying the whole thing. But in the end, Christian Cage pushed Luchasaurus, who pushed the mother of Nick Wayne. And uh, basically, Christian Cage after that wanted to do a concerto to the mother of Nick Wayne. But Luchasaurus should have done that, so that he pledge his loyalty to Christian Cage, but Adam Coblen came out with his amazing song and he stopped everything. He speared Nick Wayne, he speared Luchasaurus. I don't, don't remember if he speared Luchasaurus, but every, uh, anyway, he stopped the concerto action. And in the end, Nick Wayne was in the ring and Adam Cole concertoed Nick Wayne and it was amazing. And there was an Adam Cole and Christian Cage stare down and I'm really excited to see what's next. And probably Adam Cole is gonna be versus Christian Cage for the TNT title and hopefully Adam Copeland win. Just saying. Last but not least of that list, as I said, it's not the main event, it's not chronological events, but it was Sky Blue the new Sky Blue versus Robbie Soho versus Anna J. And in the end, Sky Blue won. Of course, she is remade. I really like her song, man. Her new song is good. Probably it's inspired by Julia Hart or I don't know <laughs> why so dark, but um, she has a darker vibe now. A new song. As I said, she won the whole thing because Ruby Soho was distracted with Cool Hands Angela Parker and Anna J was distracted with her group not being able to help enough and yeah that whole drama thing happened and yeah in the end Sky Blue won. I don't know what she's winning. Is she winning a shot at the AEW Championship? I don't think so. But maybe she is. I don't know what that trios championship uh, tournament. It's not even championship. It's not a tournament. It was just a match. I don't know what it was about. But I hope something is for because i'm a fan of sky blue as i said and i want to see her win something someday or maybe she's gonna get fired and maybe she's gonna go to somewhere else and i don't know but if i was rating aw dynamite i would have given it a solid 5.9 out of 10 because i don't want to give it six i don't want to give it a mid score of five so 5.9 i think it's okay I'm not gonna say anything else besides this is my score and next week maybe it's gonna be more because I don't know that the whole continental championship 
classic thing it doesn't make sense to me also uh, all of the matches were kind of random this time uh, and the commentators were not helping me understand what is the story behind the matches but you know another dynamite another week i'm really excited to see rampage i'm really excited to see collision let's watch it together let's subscribe together let's like did you understand what i did there like and subscribe guys thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna see you very very soon peace